How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be ranking all of the Ice Age films from worst to best. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. at number five is Ice Age 5 Collision Course. I don't think this comes to much of a surprise to any of you because this one is awful and is easily the worst one in the franchise. I mean, I saw this when it came out in theaters and I just have not rewatched it since. And all of these others, I've actually rewatched. But this one, I haven't because it sucks so much. And it's honestly so forgettable and too wacky for me. I mean, it was just too crazy with the meteor shit that was coming from outer space. And I mean, like, what was going on with that? And all of the, like, stupid, weird, wacky characters, like that llama dude who was, like, like yoga. He was, like, doing yoga or something. I don't even remember, dude. It was just so forgettable. And most of the side characters are pretty stupid. And Manny is really unlikable in this film as well. And he, he doesn't really seem like you're, you know, no, the, the man you love and know, really. And it's just, this movie was bad. It had a bad story, mostly bad characters. I don't recommend this one. And number four is Ice Age Continental Drift. Now, this is a pretty big jump up, actually, from Collision Course. Not that I love this movie or anything. It still has some issues, I think, with all of the characters, especially Manny's daughter and I don't really like all her friends and whatnot, and the whole story is very generic. It's basically Finding Nemo in Ice Age form, if that makes any sense. I like the pirates, I guess. They were nice additions, but other than that, there's not too much going on here, and this felt like a very generic story, but it was still entertaining at times, I can't lie. I mean, I actually don't hate this one, but I definitely think the others on this list are much, much better than it because this one's pretty generic and some of the jokes fall flat, but it's fine at the end of the day. Nothing amazing. At number three is Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. This might come to a surprise to some of you, but I like this movie. I liked it a lot more when I was a kid because dinosaurs and, I mean... I still like dinosaurs. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? But this movie, as I rewatched it, and I think I actually only rewatched this one because it's on Nickelodeon, surprisingly enough, like a lot. So I would sit back and watch it. So I think I've only watched it maybe like a few weeks ago, actually. Um, and this one's actually fine. Like, I don't have too many issues with it. I do like the idea with the dinosaurs and all that, and that's really cool. And I feel like it was really to sell tickets, because, like, hey, kids, dinosaurs. But the story itself is actually really interesting, with Ellie being pregnant and all that. And I think the characters all work. I like the introduction of Buck. Um, even though they him coming back in Collision Course didn't really do anything for his character. I didn't really... He didn't really need to be there. Um, but I really did like most of the jokes in this one as well. I love the atmosphere. I love the vibe. And I just think these other ones above it are, I, well, I have more nostalgia for, but I really, really loved this one as a kid. And I would probably put it at my favorite or my second to last favorite. Um, but yeah, I, I do like this one. And it's a major jump up from uh, Ice Age Continental Drift for sure. I really enjoy this one. At number two is Ice Age The Miltdown. Now, I have a lot of nostalgia for this one because I was really young when I saw it and I really loved the first Ice Age and I saw this in theaters and I was like, man, this is awesome. And rewatching it, I still think it's fine. It doesn't hold up quite as good, but I would still prefer it mainly for the nostalgia over Dawn of the Dinosaurs. But I do actually like the character additions. I think Ellie and Crash and uh, Eddie, I think their names are, uh, yeah, I, I actually do like those characters when they're introduced, and it does feel like a bit more exciting than the first one, and it's a bit large scale, I guess, and there's a bit more action, I guess, uh, and I don't know, it's a bit different from the first one because it does feel a bit different. Not only is the animation a bit better, but it does have a different vibe and just a different tone, I'd say, um, but it's still pretty exciting, and I think this is the sequel that really does make it more, I don't know, enjoyable 
for certain people because I know some people don't really like the first Ice Age even, but this one, the jokes for the most part are fine. I like all of the characters for the most part, and I think the general story is pretty okay. Nothing amazing, but I still actually like this one a bit more than Dawn of the Dinosaurs. But of course, at number one is the original Ice Age film. I'm not even lying when I say this. This is one of my favorite animated films of all time. Not only because of nostalgia, but I actually do think it's a very creative and fun story. Like, who thought, like, oh, a lot of kids love dinosaurs, which is a reason I also don't really like Dawn of the Dinosaurs, because it kind of felt like a cop-out for what the series should have been. It's like, hey, there's a bunch of dinosaur movies. Let's make an Ice Age movie for kids. Like, yeah, that's really a cool idea. And then they kind of copped it out with Dawn of the Dinosaurs just to get more money. And that's why I don't like Dawn of the Dinosaurs as much as uh, this original film and Ice Age the Meltdown. But this has a lot of nostalgia for me. But the only real negative I actually have with this film is that the animation has aged horribly. The animation's awful. But, you know, it was the early 2000s. I, it was the very first, you know beginning of CGI animation with computer generated stuff and it wasn't 2D anymore it was 3D so we were just kind of starting out with it but that was my only real negative with the film. This one also is a lot smaller scale compared to the other ones and it's a bit more of a simple story and honestly the characters are great in this. I love the character dynamics with Manny and Sid and even Diego, him leaving his pack because he doesn't want to be with his pack anymore. He realized what he's doing is wrong and he doesn't want to basically bring them the baby and have them kill it and it's kind of dark and morbid in that sort of sense but the character dynamics are like absolutely amazing and honestly some of these scenes are beautifully done like when Manny's in the cave looking at the drawings that's an amazing scene I don't know I just genuinely like this film and I think it's very underrated I definitely think it's the best Ice Age film and as I said previously one of my favorite animated films just in general and yeah guys I mean if you haven't seen this film like I don't know if I really spoiled it but yeah guys those are my ranking for Ice Age. Uh, let me hear your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments below. And let me hear your ranking down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Boop. <laughs>